We're going to look today at the early life of Imam Ali when he's growing up as a small boy. But first of all, we need to get him born. His father was Abu Talib and his mother was Fatima. Now, they belonged to the tribe of the Hashemites. This was a very important clan, and one of its important duties was to be the guardian of the Kaaba in the middle of Mecca. And the Kaaba plays a very important part in our story. We're told that when Fatima comes toward the end of her pregnancy and begins to feel the pangs of labor come upon her, she is drawn toward the Kaaba. And something miraculous happens. The walls of the Kaaba open and she is able to enter in and to enter the very space inside the Kaaba itself. And then the walls close around her. And there she gives birth to the baby Ali. He is the only child that we know of who is actually born within the Kaaba. So let's pause there for a moment. There must be something very special then about Ali to be given this privilege by God to be born within the Kaaba itself. The Kaaba, of course, the very focal point not only of the worship of the community created by Prophet Muhammad, who always faced toward the Kaaba in prayer, but the Kaaba as that building which links together all the earlier generations of prophets who were sent by God from Abraham and Ishmael down to Prophet Muhammad at the end of time. Now, that continuity then is very important because it culminates in the birth of the baby Ali and in the revelation which is given to Muhammad. So that is not a new revelation, but rather a continuation and a confirmation of that which went before. If we go back then to that moment of the birth itself, imagine the mother of Ali, Lady Fatima. She is giving birth in the most miraculous of ways because she is inside the Kaaba. If we think about what is in her head, she must be wondering what kind of child is this that I have born that this privilege should be granted to me by God. And then we see that Ali grows up in the household of Abu Talib and of um, Fatima until, as a small boy, he is passed into the household of the Prophet himself. Prophet Muhammad and his wife Khadija become those most important influences in the life of the young Ali as he grows up through childhood. He grows in the prophetic household. His role models are Muhammad and Khadija. They then are those who play the most important part in training his character. If we think about the way in which our parents, our grandparents, those around us in our immediate family play a huge role in shaping our character and the kind of people that we are, then we begin to understand something of the importance of Ali growing up in the prophetic household. Now, Ali is actually drinking in the way of life that the prophet lives within his household. It becomes second nature to him. He models his life on the life of the prophet. On one occasion, he tells us, I followed the footsteps of the prophet just as a young camel will follow the footsteps of its mother. So in this way, 
the Sunnah of the Prophet becomes the Sunnah also of Ali as he grows up in that household as a young boy. He learns the way in which the Prophet is so careful to be earning his money in the right way, his honesty in trading, his truthfulness, the nature of his character, the way in which he relates with Khadija, and in this way he learns something about what it is to live as an adult man within a family, taking care of his wife, taking care of their children. So his character is always being trained in this way. It is as though he just drinks in, he imbibes the very scent, the very way of living in the prophetic household. Therefore, we see him observing the prophet in small ways and in great. We can imagine him then eating in the same way that the prophet eats, drinking in the same way that the prophet drinks. We can see him learning to speak with kindness and gentility to people who come to visit. We can see him learning the importance of hospitality. And in this way, he is becoming, as it were, a kind of mirror image of the prophet. Now, this is crucial because the Quran tells us that you have in the prophet a perfect, beautiful example of how to live a godly life, of how to live a life which is shaped by the Quran itself. Sometimes we say that Muhammad is the living Quran that every action and every word and everything he says and does, it is as though we could see the Quran lived out in human action and human word. If the Prophet then is the living Quran, and if Ali growing up in the prophetic household is mirroring himself in every way on the Prophet's life, the Prophet's teaching, his whole being, then we can see that Ali also becomes the lived-out reality of the teaching of the Quran in everyday life from the moment that he's a small boy onwards. And this will become very important because he is to continue to be the father, the guide, the trainer, the teacher of the next generation of Imams from the Ahl al-Bayt, that is, of Imam Hassan and Hussein. But before we can go that far, we need to bring another very important person into the picture. Because it is not only Ali who is growing up in the prophetic household, but it is also Fatima the daughter of Muhammad and Khadija, who also is growing up within that household and is imbibing that way of life, that role model, so that she too becomes a conveyor of the message of the Quran in her very life and in her demeanor. Now, when we put the two of them together and we see that Ali and Fatima are to be the mother and father of the two young boys, Hassan and Hussein, growing up in that household, then we begin to see the huge important part that is played by growing up within a certain household and learning the way in which human life should be lived in that society, in that way. Now we see then huge importance on the family in which we grow up, a great stress upon the duty of parents in forming the character of their children. And that takes us also in that journey, reflecting upon the life of Ali as a boy and Fatima, his future wife, and then we can see 
that we should also follow in that tradition.